What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Detroit Lions Fonza. Been gone for about two weeks. Uh, I'm back now, and uh, well, let's get on with the picks. All right. First, you got Buffalo and Minnesota. Uh, seems like uh, Minnesota is going to try and get it going. Uh, I think it might be a little late, but you, you never know what could happen here. And Buffalo uh, lost just a tough one in uh, overtime. Uh, the Steve Johnson drop, so it's a tough loss. Both teams are... Uh, Especially the Bills are really coming out and just playing some ball right now. We'll see what the Vikings do, but I am going to go with the Vikings here, and it should be pretty close. The, the, the Bills have been pretty competitive all their games lately, so it should be a competitive game, but I see Minnesota winning. And then you have Cleveland and Miami. Um, uh, I'm not sure if um, Brennan Marshall will be playing in that one, but the, the, the Browns are really coming out with that run game, and uh, uh, the Miami didn't do too bad with their run game uh, this past uh, um, Sunday either, so... Should be interesting. I probably more of a kind of a Smash Mouth type of game, uh, which I uh, <clears throat> can. Uh, I'm not sure what what to expect. I'm not. I'm not sure who's gonna win on this one, but I guess I'll go with the coin flip and go with Cleveland. But it should be a good game. And then you have Jacksonville and Tennessee. I'm gonna go with Jacksonville just because of their uh, the QB situation and uh, Tennessee right now is just a little in question right now because they they're down to their third uh, quarterback. Maybe, maybe he comes out and. Maybe they have a better game plan for him, but yeah, their offense wasn't uh, clicking that last week uh, against the uh, Texans. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Jacksonville, and you have the uh, Saints and Cincinnati. I'm gonna go with New Orleans. Um, the, the 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 Bengals have had their number for their past couple meetings, but I think the Saints are uh, hot right now, and they 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 want they want to go to the playoffs and try and maybe get a second third third spot maybe uh, in that playoff run. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the Saints. And then uh, you have um, Denver and Kansas City. Uh, Kansas City uh, got uh, spanked by the Broncos the first meeting, but they, they, they made a lot of mistakes in that first meeting, and it's going to be another good – it should be a good game, but in this division we have a lot of blowouts this year, so who knows. But I'm going to go with Kansas City, but I don't even know what the score is. It's just so unpredictable in the, that division as of current right now because they just beat up on each other. Just They take turns. Then you got Washington and uh, the Giants. Um, <sighs> one of the, just, it's one of those games you just never know what to think. Cause Washington will come out and just win, and I don't understand. Like I'm gonna go with the Giants, so I think the Giants will win, but it should be an interesting. It could be close. And then you have uh, the 49ers and Green Bay. I'm gonna go with Green Bay. A tough loss to the Falcons there. Then you have Oakland and San Diego. Um, Division game, San Diego, so putting on the the burners, and I'm I'm interested to see what Oakland's gonna do. I wonder if they're gonna come out and like play real hard because it's gonna this is a tough this is gonna be a one where they the, it's a pretty much a must win for both teams, especially considering the fact with the the Chiefs how they're rolling. Yeah, so these do it's gonna be this is gonna be a tough one, and uh, I think San Diego will win this time as long as they keep the special teams clean like they have been doing for the most part. So. I'm going to go with um, San Diego, and it should be a close one. And then you have Atlanta and Tampa. Um, Tampa played them pretty close the last time. Uh, Falcons are on fire. I'm going to go with the Falcons. If Tampa wins, I won't be too surprised, but i got to go with the Falcons. They're hot right now. Just beat Green Bay, and I did not expect that. And then you have Dallas and uh, Indianapolis. I am not really sure who to pick in this game. Uh, it really depends on what Peyton Manning you get, but he never really plays bad like that unless he's playing against the Chargers. So I'm going to go with the Colts because Peyton Manning's there. So, yeah, I'm going Colts here. Uh, Dallas will play. should play him pretty close, but I I think that Indy's going to come out on top in the end, especially being at home and all. And then you have uh, the Rams in Arizona. I'm picking the Rams. Um, I'm just not sure what the Cardinals are doing at the moment. And uh, then you have uh, Carolina and the Seahawks. Um, Seahawks, they're on and off. Panthers, they they're pretty much off this season, but they 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 they're doing some things, but for the most part, they they're they're just not they they don't have the players and the consistency to really uh match up here. It's Seahawks, I'm going to the Seahawks here, and then you have ooh that should be a good bit. Pittsburgh and Baltimore, you can smash them out, and you got Big Ben this time around. Uh, man, that's a tough one. Baltimore took the first one, but Big Ben's back. Really, it really depends where you get out of both quarterbacks. That's what it's going to come down to. Well, I'm I'm guessing they're going to split, so I'm going to go with Pittsburgh. But Baltimore might be winning this one. They might be sweeping them this season, unless they see each other again in the pl playoffs, which it might it could happen. But you never know. And then you have the um, then that Monday night one, and you got the Jets in New England. 
Now that should be a good game. Uh, Jets got them by 14 last time, but Brady's lot. Uh, it looks like they got a very good offensive thing going now. They they, they got a lot of a lot of great uh, abilities and just how they're running their offense. I think they have their identity on how they do offense. They do a lot of different things, and I think they're more uh, up to the challenge when they play the Jets this time around. So this should be interesting and. Uh, close, close game. It's a division game. Both teams really want it, but I think New England will win this one. It's just because when it comes down to the quarterbacks, uh, Brady is just, he's just a beast. You can't really stop the guy most of the time. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go with the Patriots. And then going back up to the uh, Chicago and Detroit game, it's a revenge game for the Lions. But uh, too bad there won't be any revenge this time because uh, they're going to be, lo I expect them to lose against the Chicago Bears. Um, uh I don't think it will be a blowout by any means, but Detroit secondary, uh, as we all know, is uh, Swiss cheese, and it really depends on if the front can get uh, home, and I don't really know what the Detroit uh, offense will look like. Uh, Drew Staten will be starting. Not really sure what to expect out of the past game, and uh, I believe Job at best will be playing. I don't think he'll do too much. The Bears don't really give up much on defense in particular. Our run game isn't even good. The, game, the run game of the Detroit is not very good, so... We're not going to be running the ball. Um, it's gonna, we're going to have to rely on the pass like we've been doing for the most part this year with our offense. But um, We'll see how that goes. and I do. I expect Chicago to win this uh, pretty convincingly. But um, What do you guys think? And, uh, leave your uh, picks and uh, any um, comments you have. And uh, I'll see you next time on the Detroit Lions Fonza.